pretty good pick there, actually. Do it like that. Look at that thing. Rest him up there. Gargantuan. G'day guys, it's your boy, Now Chucky Shilton, back for another episode of Fishing Starry tonight. We've got no eels and it's shark season. I've heard from a few people that um, the sharks are well and truly back um, and we're not even in the in the game right now. We've got no runs on the board, we have no eels, uh, so we really need to get some. It's a mixture of my uh, freezer killing itself once again. Um, and also the, I took a few down to Iluka and did some shark fishing stuff. I don't know if I filmed much of that. Or I did film it, but I don't know if I put it in the vlog. So I lost a fair few years that way as well. So I need to catch some. Um, also I have very few days off and I don't have that many opportunities to stay out and grind out some eels. So quite honestly, it's pretty much the worst case scenario to be in the shark season right now for me. Did you hear that guys? That's the sound of a fish. The rain is gone. The wind is dying down. The weather is doing what we were hoping it would, um, which is super interesting. So I'm hoping that that means with conditions getting a little better, we're gonna pull onto an eel soon. Like I said at the start of the night, I'm not after, you know, a bag of five or ten. I sure will take him if I can get him. But if we get one fish, I'll be a very happy man. And there's a fish to start our night. Is that an eel? Oh, I think it might be actually. I think we might have one. What a wonderful start that would be. Not that it really matters if it's a catfish, how big it is. It's not what we're after. Although, a sign that the fish are feeding is always nice. Yeah, it, it, it kind of swaps over when it's uh, a bit warmer in the summer. He's coming this way. Yeah, when it's a bit warmer in the summer, you'll get heaps more catfish and less eels. And when it's a bit cooler, you'll get a lot less catfish and more eels. Oh, jeez, this is an all right fish, I'm telling you. This is a half bad animal. I should have brought the net with me, actually. Well, I do have, actually, I've got 20 pound litre. No matter how big this catfish is, it's not going to be too big to pull up by 20 pound litre. Oh, there's a spider on that. Are you joking me? There's a spider on the one place I wanted to stay in. Get out of town. Let's get this thing up and see what we're working with here. Definitely not an eel. I don't think it could be much else other than a catfish. Jesus. Look at this. This is a fight. It's been very good, very solid fight. Oh, he wants to go a bit again. Look at this. This may well be a uh, Lagoon PB, I think. Oh, we just lost one from in there. Oh, I don't want him to kick anything into my mouth because I don't want to get E. coli. That's definitely a Lagoon PB though. That's a healthy fish. I've not caught many catfish bigger than that in here. Ugh. I will change batteries in the head of the lamp now as well guys because I guess it's getting a little bit uh, a little bit dumb, uh, a little bit dill, dill? What the hell is wrong with me? A little bit da, da, damp? No, not damp, uh, did, uh, what the fuck is wrong with me? When, when a light begins to die it becomes dull, it becomes dull. Fuck, I think I'm pretty dull as well to be honest with you guys. I'm certainly not fucking bright, Jesus Christ. Back home where it came from. See you buddy. That was a pretty good spear, I timed that nicely. Alright, fish are feeding. It's game time. We need one eel. We just need one eel. One eel. Come on, don't do me like that. I think he's got it in his mouth. Mine is coming back. Yeah, I think he's eating it. Yep, fish on now. Please be an eel. Please be an eel. Oh, that's 
a nice fish. Oh, I want to keep it away from the weeds there. Again, quite a nice fish. Not sure if it's an eel though. Really not sure. Ooh, it's healthy. Very healthy animal. Oh, keep coming this way, mate. Oh, yeah, another catfish. Ah, shucks. It took really slowly. I don't know if the GoPro would have turned on in time to see the original take. Get out from there. Oh, you son of a bitch. Get out from there. Don't want to lose any rigs. Oh, wow, that thing's a truck. It's another big pork tail. Hey, hey, hey. Come here, mate. Jeez, that might be bigger than the last one. Oh, bloody hell. Rather than uh, catfish, because of how awful it smells. Although catfish do like awful smelling shit too. This fish is eating it, I reckon. Yep. Fish on. Please be an eel. Please be an eel. Ooh. That might be an eel. That might be an eel. That might have been. Oh, is that the big dopey head shake of an eel? It's not moving quickly. Come on. Yep, I reckon we've got one here to be an eel. Please. Those head shakes are so eel like. Come on. It has to be a fucking eel. Come on. Oh, I can't tell. I could not tell what that was. Could anyone tell what that was? Is there. He's not gotten snagged under there, has he? Come out. What's going on here? That's not good. Come out. Oh, no. He's gone under the rocks in there. Oh, shit. Well, if I review this footage and it looks like that was an eel, I'm gonna be so fucking mad, dude. No! <sighs> Fuck! Oh, hello, hello. What? Whoa! That was on the surface. Whoa! What? What a crazy little fight. That thing just went fucking nuts. Sit me down, boy. Come this way. Oh, it's swimming towards us. Something tells me this one's not Neil. Oh, hello. That might be though. Let's double walk up. Oh, maybe this is an eel, actually. That's kind of fighting like one there. Look at that. That might be an eel. It swam so far towards us though. There's a little tilapia down there. Um, it swam so far towards us. I didn't think there was any way, but it might just be one. You know what, I'm actually thinking that it is. Oh, come on, baby. Yeah, it is too, it's gotta be. It's a big one too. Yes! That is without a doubt, Neil. You'd be too sure, can you? Oh. Right. I'll wrap it around twice, because I do have a hole in this net. Actually, let's just do the once and bank on it. Yeah, baby. That's what we fucking came here for. Come on, it's a start. It's runs on the board is what it is. It's not going to do us for very long, but we'll get some fat chunks off that thing. That's a start to shark season. This rod, and it is on, is that an eel? Oh, it's hard to say. It's really hard to say from all the way out there. Really hard to say. Considering how wrong I was with the last one, there's just a good chance I'm wrong about this one too, and I don't want to call it too early. This was this one ran while we were winding in our other one there, so this could be. Ooh, wait for that signature kind of head shake. It's it's feeling okay. There's a chance that we've got another eel here, guys. This would be two. I want to kind of get it over here. 
before I get it that way so I can move it under that rod. He's not too far down there. Well, let's, we can move him under now. Okay. Wow, look at that. Another really good size. Even a bit bigger than what you'd want. You'd use that for a decent sized shark, that's for sure. Got it. Yep. Come on. Oh, it's come off, but that's okay. We've got it that far. We've done what we needed to. Stay up there. Oh, it's a fight, but we've got it. We've got it for sure now. Yep. Oh, the hook's actually gone through its lip. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. Keep going. Ah, yes. That's two good eels. Come on. Coming for those sharks. A little. Just then. We just caught two eels. It's not like they school, but every uh, potential bite that I'm... Oh, yeah, we did not cast it over there. Yep, that's something. Oh, no, and it's come off. Oh. Oh, I get a good feeling about that. I get a very good feeling about that. I get a feeling, yeah, that was an eel too. All right, come on. Oh, come on, don't drop it there. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Eat it. Now that's a bite, it's probably a catfish. Ooh, well, maybe not. Well, maybe not, well, maybe not. Well, maybe we're just not very good at calling it today. And we should stop calling it when it's so freaking early. That may be another one. This is incredible, guys. I, I honestly, I'm not, to be fair, I don't think I've fished the lagoon since like episode 78 or something. 178, that is. Uh, it's, been, it's been a very long time. But um, I don't remember there being this much success here ever. God, I hope this is an eel. Be absolutely ecstatic over the fucking moon. <sighs> Gonna run out of bags to put them in. Oh, come up, come up, come up. Yeah, I think it is too. Yeah, I think that is. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Number three? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they've all been really fucking big fish. This is excellent. And not just three. Got him, yep. But, oh no, no. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> not just three, but it really is the equivalent of probably four or five. Oh, shit. I've cut my foot there, surely. Ow. Oh, really is the equivalent of four or five just based on how big they are turned out after that last one I thought it came out all right clearly I was wrong that hook is very fucked I'm gonna keep that though as a bit of a memento because that's uh, actually quite cool yeah you're still there the stumpy gets one on with the stumpy yeah baby let's go stumpy time oh no it's not stumpy time we were misled okay what we didn't lose a rig there, did we? No, we didn't. He's just come off. Good. I was going to say, there's no way we've lost a rig there. Jeez, I wonder what that could have been. Look at all the slime right next to the hook. That was another eel. The exact same thing happened to this one. It was, oh, yeah, it was taken. And then nothing. And then I went to wind it in to check the bait. Had a little bit of slack. And then, oh, no, that was an eel too. Fuck. Damn. Definitely an eel. Is that one bouncing? Is that just me? That is bouncing. Okay. So all of a sudden, three fish came by. And had a look. Will we be able to hook one of them? Stumpy has yet to land one today. Maybe now's your chance. Now's your chance, girl. Gotta make sure you sink that hook in there. Ugh. That should be sunk, I think. That felt... As far as sinking a hook in goes, that felt like I've done the job there. Swimming this way, quite a lot. Oh, it's an eel. Oh, it's a smallish one.
It's usable. Yeah, that's very usable actually. Ugh. That's a good size for the uh, river, for the smaller balls. Hey, yay, 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 yay. All right, well, all of a sudden, three fish took at once. We didn't know any of them had taken, except for maybe you'd probably say the last one actually. And uh, yeah, now we've had a win. We've, we've got one in, so that's four. We could make this a five eel night and really do something special. Yeah, that's big. That is big. Hello. Oh, that's a sizable fish. Oh, you know what that's feeling like, ladies and gents? You know what that's feeling like? That is feeling like a big, fat fucking eel. It took a fair bit of line before we got to it. I'm not really caring too much about that though. Oh, yeah, baby bit of a seat here because this feels like a big one we did lose one at the start too didn't we so this has just been incredible there's been so many fish out tonight this thing's a lake monster that's what this is fucking hell look at this <laughs> this is gonna take a while this won't be in anytime soon it's much easier to do sitting down I will tell you that Jesus Christ must have been a hell of a cast out there because he didn't fucking run very quickly but he's got a lot of line out that's the splashes I'm talking about I think a fair bit of it's tilapia yeah when you don't get rain the water clarity here is just abysmal that actually could be another factor into why there's been so many eels tonight water clarity could definitely be affecting it there's, there is that chance. Um, I'm not sure. Ooh, you want to go again, don't you? You kind of do. I'm trying to move him more to our right here, otherwise he's going to get tangled with this line. Oh, this is going to be, um, if this is an eel, and I don't really see it not being an eel, this is going to be a big one. There's no doubt about that. Oh, he's going that way too, isn't he? Of course he bloody is. Swimming directly over to the landing spot on this side. Oh Jesus, look at the wells on that thing. I'm telling you guys, this is a lake monster. Someone call fucking Jeremy Wade. This thing's a mammoth. Oh. He still wants to go. Look at this. He wants to Oh my days. Whatever this is, this is huge. I think it is an eel, but it may well be a catfish as well. If it is a catfish, it's a monster. Doesn't want to come up. Oh no, nah, that's an eel. That's an eel, those head shakes. This thing is going to be massive. Has to be absolutely gargantuan. Jesus, I haven't even seen fish yet. This is a mammoth. This is a truck of an eel. He wants to go again. We'll let him. We gotta get we wanna get this fish in because this fish is going to be shark bait, a big big shark bait out in the bay. Maybe next Stradbroke trip we go with Kurt and Reese. Should mention guys that trip is in the making. We are planning on going on a Stratty trip. Kurt's probably watching this right now. In fact, he's a very uh, avid viewer of the channel. We are working on getting you guys some more Stradbroke episodes. We know how much you loved them last time. Well, we loved filming them. That's probably the, my favorite trip I've ever done. Even before filming Fisherman's Diary, it would have to have been that Stradbroke trip we did. Good fucking God, the wells on this. This, is, this has to be a lake record. I mean, if we can get this in, I'm very interested to see if anyone has ever caught a bigger eel here in Tigham Lagoon. Because I know there are a few people that fish it. A fair few people fish it for carp, but there are some, some fish shows around. Daggertooth is one actually, who used to fish this, this lagoon a lot for, uh, and still probably does, fish it a lot for shark bait. If we can get this thing in, I, 
I will be very interested to see if anyone can point me to a photo of a fish bigger than this because this feels absolutely mammoth. I don't know what the biggest one I've caught from here. It'd be over a meter, but um, it's hard to measure eels. Here we go. Yeah, wow. That's just his head there. Gonna be hard to get a full body shot. Wow. <laughs> it does, it certainly does look like a monster, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my God, it's a net. Because the water clarity is awful. Oh my God, how old could this thing be? Actually, he's hooked. He's biting the hook and not the leader right now. The leader will be injured, but it won't be that bad off. All right, come on, mate. We need to get tail. No. Look at that, look at that. Give me your tail. Come on, yeah, yeah, oh, so close. Come on, come on. We could maybe get him to swim into the net like that. Where's the tippy tail? I think we got him, yeah we do. Holy shit, okay. Let me get a stable. Oh my God, holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, fuck me. Is that a tiger record? I think so. Holy shit. <laughs> that is a monster. A bona fide fucking Goliath. Holy shit. There we go. Hooks out and it didn't really show any sign of straightening at all there. So that's really good. Get this fish out of the bag here and have a look at it. The girth of it is what's extraordinary. Oh, much too powerful for me, aren't you, mate? Look at that. In comparison to my hand there, that has to be probably the best kind of comparison you're getting. It is mammoth. Man, you'd get some shark baits off it, that's for sure. Oh no, I don't want to drop you down. Yeah, 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 I know. <sighs> Look at that. Here we go. <sighs> Someone, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone call Jeremy Wade, boys. That is huge. What an eel. <laughs> That's probably a uh, pretty good pick there, actually. Could do it like that. Look at that thing. Rest him up there. Gargantuan. Only probably caught one or two fish bigger than that ever. <sighs> All right, let's get him back. In comparison to the rod, the girth on it is the real thing. Tell you what, if you caught one of these and you were looking for food, you'd be fed for a little bit. You get some fillets off one of them. All right, let's send her back. Ugh. As uh, anyone who's been watching this channel for any period of time can attest, I do like to promote discretion when you're taking fish. Ugh. Obviously it's not lawful to release one this big. Not mandated at least, but um, I've always been a fan of uh, a bit of discretion. Something that big in my books deserves to live. Thanks very much, lovely. Wow. <sighs> Potential Targum record. Hopefully someone else can catch her in a, in a year or so and they can take the record. That's what it's all about right there, ladies and gents. Had a great night, got everything I needed fish-wise. We're gonna take off now. Four eels, had a few cats to start off with, got things underway, and had an absolute Goliath encounter right there with a huge eel. Um, and that was amazing. <coughs> I'm glad it's coming back for another day. I wouldn't have felt right about taking that one. So, song of the day, because we may as well just do this outro now. I'm slimed everywhere. There's movement there, that might've been her actually. Song of the day is going to be, um, geez, it's got to be a song by Fair to Midland. Let's go with, um, 
a limbo, uh, a loophole in limbo by Phantom Midland. Bit of a softer kind of uh, rocky band, but nonetheless, hope you guys enjoy. And I'll catch you in the next one. Nat Chucky Shorten. We've got four reels, so I'm sure you can guess what the next episode's going to be. Let me give you a hint. Dudun. Dudun. Smell the rat and just in case I set up traps and you're the bait. Surprise. Surprise.